We're gonna be coming home to 240. Yeah, yeah. What's going on guys? Justin back with another video. So I'm gonna plug in a clip. You're probably wondering what the hell this thing is. We're gonna build a shop missile, Cody and I, from Rowdy's Garage. And um, it just turned into more of a headache, more of a project, something that we couldn't really afford right now. I still need to get the vet done. There's parts that on the, on the super that I wanna kinda get done. And having another car or another build was kinda just like out of the question. Uh, Cody didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. So we ended up just, you know, taking any parts that we possibly need or our friends possibly need. But he's going to come here and pick this thing up, put it into use. And uh, one man's uh, project that we couldn't make happen could be another man's project. So with that being said, there was a Recaro SPG seat that was in the car. And we are going to end up doing a restoration today. I've never done one of these before, so this is kind of more of like just winging it. We're probably gonna put the seat up for sale or put it in the vet. It's in pretty bad condition, man. Like, it's definitely faded and it, it definitely needs uh, some love. So, what I did was I went to AutoZone. I picked up some Duplicolor fabric and vinyl paint. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean the whole seat out, make sure that we vacuum it, make sure that we prep correctly, tape off the Recaro, try and get in there clean up the Recaro logo and then go from there but as of right now this is the seat so as you can tell the seat definitely needs some love it is not looking too good as you can tell literally right by the shoulder rest you can see it's all faded out the suede's in pretty decent shape you know Recaro logo is not really stained too much it is dirty but it's not as stained as I thought it would be got some grease here that we're gonna try and rub out with a toothbrush the back of the seat can definitely be cleaned up. Some scratches back here that we're gonna try and uh, fix, but other than that. So this is the Duplicolor vinyl and fabric paint that I was talking about. This is something that you definitely wanna get into if you're going to rest, restore a seat like this. You can tell this is definitely a replica, but they did the tutorial before. So it'd be definitely cool. I made the error of trying to find this fabric paint at Home Depot. When you can go to your local AutoZone it's just called Duplicolor Vinyl and Fabric. This is the gloss black. We're gonna take the shop back to it. We're gonna bring it to the back of the shop and we're gonna paint this whole seat and make it, try and make it brand new. I'm kind of curious. I'm definitely curious. I wanna see if this is gonna work really good and if we can bring back the liveliness of this seat and put it in a car and make it look good. Project restoration begins now. We're gonna bring this Recaro SPG rep back to life. Hopefully, um, we gotta vacuum it out, do a couple things, hit the first coat, try and see what it's gonna do. And then other than that, try and scrub out as much grease and oil or whatever the hell's on it as best as we possibly can. And uh, hopefully the end solution looks really, really good. guys so it's springtime out here so there's a bunch of pollen flying around it's really not the best idea to start doing this right now but we're running with like limited time and um, kind of want to make sure this is clean before it starts pouring rain it's calls for rain in like two hours kind of want to just get this done so and I also want to give it some time to dry so what I'm gonna do is um, every single item that I spray I'm going to vacuum right away and then everything else, I'm just gonna try and clean as best of my ability. I gotta get painter's tape, that's one thing that I forgot. So you definitely need painter's tape to cover up the Recaro logos. And then, uh, yeah, we should be all good to go. But other than that, 
trying to clean this as best as possible. I don't know if this is gonna give me an issue. You can obviously see all the like striations and all the lines and all the like, whatever the hell that was dirty. You can see the, all the grease, you can see all the lines and everything in, in the, the pads itself. I'm gonna try and flip it around, see if that helps anything. But other than that, yeah, we're just gonna try and get this as best as possible. And then we're gonna just start spraying on the dupe controller. All right, guys, so you can obviously tell the difference between this and the actual back piece to it. Other than that, it's sticking pretty well to the, and uh, yeah, we're gonna, it says on the dupe collar to wait 10 minutes between each pass. And I'm gonna wait probably like anywhere between five to eight. As of right now, it's not, it's pretty dry. So I'm touching it with my hands. There's nothing on my finger. We'll wait for it. You can obviously see the, the ring, the stain that's in here, but it's starting to come along. So I already did two coats. I'm gonna probably make another couple passes until I, I'm happy with where I am. Right, guys so i'm gonna have to head back to autozone and pick up another can the seat was at least faded to the point where i needed to spray the whole bottle so i'm gonna go get another can and we're gonna try and make this happen i don't like how the ricardo looks kind of looks boxed off we're gonna have to try and hopefully it dries and you can probably get in there with a little brush or something but other than that it is what it is See, it looks really dark, kind of looking new. It's not as faded. So yeah, I'm pretty pumped on the on the outcome, and uh, let's get another can, put maybe another two coats on, and we'll go from there. But other than that, it's kind of look. It looks pretty good from from where I'm standing. It looks a lot better than when it came in. So let's go get more, and uh, we'll be back. So I actually went uh, above me on. Bought the 3M uh, really, really thin tape, so hopefully that works out for me. And then other than that, we should be able to spray more coats on this, make this thing look brand new, and uh, yeah, see what if we could use it in the vet. As you can tell, a couple coats, two coats, one coat. So.
guys, so we started this project at 1.49. It's been an hour. 2.49, I'm letting it sit outside. It's drying up and then we're just gonna clean our mess, get the shop back in before everything starts pouring rain. And uh, yeah, other than that, I did mess up a little bit. Um, again, I tried to rush this job and nothing ever really goes right when you're rushing it, but uh, that's just the perfectionist in me. Obviously you can see that there's a little like runoff on the O with the black paint. This could be very, very like, with time, it, it doesn't have to look that crappy. Like it was more along the lines of like, it needed to get done. I didn't tape it off as perfect as I possibly could, but it's going in a drift car. It don't really matter. It's a replica anyway. But other than that, this fabric stuff really, really works. I mean, the seat looks brand new. I'm pumped on it and uh, you should be too. Pump your seat, but please like, share, subscribe if you guys like that tutorial. I'm sorry it wasn't perfect, but nothing's ever really perfect. So just one of those things, it's still a bucket seat and uh, it looks good. It doesn't look faded. It doesn't look like shit anymore. So like, share, subscribe, truly appreciate it. If you guys want to cop some merch, Flipsco stuff, you can go to flipsco.com. And uh, yeah, other than that, I'm super, super happy that I got awesome supporters and uh, thank you again. Later.